Hey guys, my name is Pierre from Canam SpiderAccessories.com, and welcome to the Spider Shop. Now we flip the seat upside down. We're gonna be working on this part. And this is the bracket that we wanna install right now. So the way we're gonna do that is that we're actually just gonna take this part, we're gonna lay it flat here with this pointing upwards, right? So you see that? It's pointing upwards as we lay it down. And if it's laying flat here and here, you don't have to worry about the height. You're probably wondering, oh, do I need to put it here, there? No, no. You're just going to put it flat here, push it towards the front, and where it falls is where the holes are going to go because we're going to need to drill here and here. And if you want to make sure that we're li lined up straight, well, you can just line yourself up between here and here and there and there. All right, so let me... Go ahead and do that. I feel that this is the right place. I've actually got a little marker here. It's a little pointy thing. I'm just gonna make a mark in my plastic in the center. We're going to do a little bit of assembly, so we're going to re, we're going to put again this piece right here, line it up with the hole, and now you're going to need this bracket here. And see the way I'm holding it, right? See this angle here? It's going towards there. It's the same angle as you got here. So we're actually going to go from underneath the seat, and we're going to insert it, and then put our screws that you're going to need a number four metric Allen key, and we're going to put the screws through the metal through the plastic and into the step area here. Now this is going to be the tricky part. If you got a better way of doing this than me, then let me know. Um, so we're going to take this part here. We're going to insert it right here. It's going to go where the two screws are. We're going to have to push down a little bit so we can get our Allen key in and make it tight so this doesn't come out. And then on the other side, we're going to need to put in those little uh, nuts so we can uh, lock it up. Okay, here we go. We're not going to be installing this U-shaped chrome piece. You're going to take these two little chrome screws that need a 1 8 Allen key. We're now going to take this little arm, we're going to put it on the backrest. Now you see there's a curve here. This piece is more to the outside. So look at the way I'm going to turn it, this way and then down. And you're going to use the shorter one, you've got two balls like this, you're going to be using the shorter one, it's two inches and three quarters, and it's going to go right through like this. Take one of the lock nuts and it goes on this side. We're going to take the bottom part now, we're going to come and assemble it on the back here, so look carefully the way I have it. If it's this way, then you go that way. And this is the adjustment to the height of the backrest. So you can pretty much, if you're tall, you want to go at the bottom. If you're short, you want to go at the top. And you'll see where it falls. You may want to do some adjustments later on. So you take your two remaining screws, insert those.
and it should look like that. It's now time to do the assembly between this and this. So the way we're going to put it is this way. You're going to take your remaining long screw and the, uh, the line on lock nut. We're going to line this up. We're going to be installing this black plate now and that's going to allow you to play with the, the, the depth of the backrest. It's got about a three inch play and that all comes from this. So as you can see here you got a curved side. You want to make sure that that's towards the backrest and that the flat surface is on the inside here. That wasn't too bad. I hope we answered that question for you of was it hard to install a backrest for your Canon Spider RT series. I don't think it was. I think the biggest obstacle is to have a little bit of time in front of you and a little patience. Don't rush. It's not the kind of project you want to rush, but I think within an hour you can get all things done, have a beverage, relax, have your friends over, two heads are better than one, so maybe have a friend to help you out. So I'm going to save you the trouble of watching me put the seat back on, just redo your steps and you should be fine. Uh, where can you buy the backrest? Well, of course you can buy it at canamspideraccessories.com. That's canamspideraccessories.com. We have about 250 products on the web right now. We have a lot of exclusive products, uh, especially our Chrome series for the RT Can-Am Spiders for the up front. We have for the rear as well. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, our front grills, we got trailer hitch, we got uh, luggage rack. We got everything that you need for your RT Spiders and also for the F3 Can-Am Spiders. Once again, I say thank you. Why? Well, I always say thank you because you guys, uh, you know, give good feedback, good comments. You support us on Facebook. You like, uh, you subscribe to the YouTube channels. You like our videos. So we're feeling very grateful for everything. So be safe on the road and I'll see you somewhere in 2018.